a stone, like a tool. Maybe we do not disturb what lingers here. You've returned to me. Please, please release me. This place, the agony, so much worse than anything I suffered at your hands. My student, my nemesis, to see you again here. Have you come to proffer forgiveness, or to persecute me further? See you, do I come to kill old Merwald? To claim his keep? Cad Nua, home to me for decades now? That old place? You can hold on to it. We got a boat now. Leave an old man be, beg I. Leave him to his doom, to the dawn star's rise. You see through it then? You must be special, like they were. Are. No, I don't even recognize myself. I'm... I'm uncertain. I've lost so much of myself here. She tore my name from me. The interrogator. She's deep within. Ensconced in her little court. You won't. She wards herself too well. In her labyrinth of Audra and Copper. Perhaps with my help. If you found the pieces of me, returned them, I could lead you to her. If they remain, they're in the machines. Each encompasses an Audra pillar, and each pillar contains the countless souls scoured by the Inquisitor, I think. If you would seek my missing pieces, seek them there. But be warned, some may be more volatile than others. I want to help, so try to find bits of me that aren't too... broken. I appreciate that. You've no idea how much. Take the relic with you. You may need it. This 
isn't as effective as you seem to think. Got it. We gather in the sight of Wotika and Wal to thresh truth from falsehood and see justice upheld. The matter before this tribunal tonight, heresy. I stand accused of rejecting the orthodoxy delivered unto us by the universal divinities. In your malice, ignorance, and hubris, you would assault the very foundations of civilization. How do you answer these charges? I bear guilt for many things, but in my service to the divine, I have never wavered. Never once. No person present disputes the facts. Your words and actions are a matter of record, confessed by your allies and confirmed by innumerable eyes. It seems my guilt a foregone conclusion. Why then bother with this farce? We would thank you to keep your tongue civil or stilled, lest it be removed. This body provides you with a final chance to ameliorate the sins you have heaped upon yourself. If you choose not to admit fault, not to display contrition, then you shall bear the full burden of your transgressions with you to the wheel. Then declare your sentence. What example will be made of me? Your eyes shall be plucked from their sockets and turned upon you that you may fully examine your deficiencies. Then you shall be chained within a copper tub and your skin opened at two score and seven points that your spirit might better fly your corrupt flesh. Once purified, your soul shall be bound within an animate, that it may serve the gods forevermore. Silence! The sentence has been pronounced, and so shall it be carried out. All praise be to the gods. What do you need? Of course.
timeless, of course. Hmm? Go? If I do, ha. Go. Let you be the same. Something I can do? I got it. Well, that could have gone better. A quick rest would help if you don't mind. I'm here. I'm that looks uh different. I'm listening. Just a moment. on it. Look at that. Get out, cow. You have only delayed your death. Feel us, feel me too. Time to rethink the strategy. Go, me too. This thing is... 
isn't doing the job. Me too. Very nice, Rick. And there is someone else's task. Ready when you are. Yeah. Not a problem. Not a problem. I'm listening. I'm of course. You must gather your party before venturing. We gather in the sight of Wodica and Wal to thresh truth from falsehood and see justice upheld. The matter before this tribunal tonight, apostasy. The heretic may transgress out of ignorance or misunderstanding. Far fouler the apostate, who, knowing full well the truth, elects to abandon it. Each heretic, being a potential convert, presents an opportunity for an improved aura. The apostate, however, blights the world around him, for from him does corruption stem. In abandoning the true faith, you corrupt not only yourself, but all with whom you share contact. How do you answer these charges? Not all who wear masks do so out of shame. There is no shame to be found in the service of the gods. The masks we wear reflect our roles as mere instruments of a divine will. If you choose to squander this opportunity with further heresy, we can return you to your confinement. Your refusal to recant dismays this tribunal. You require further illustration of the harmfulness of your irreverence. This tribunal shall reconvene in three nights' time. Until then, you shall mount the bladed horse. You shall be denied all food and drink, that your spirit is not unduly weighted by your body. You may at any time recant your apostasy and offer contrition in the names of your confederates in atheism. We are not, nor do we appreciate your tone. The sentence has been pronounced, and so shall it be carried out. All praise be to the gods.
Do I... Do I know you? Have we met? Before this, before here. I see it. The shackles about your soul. They're in you, the gods. And you, their puppet. Unsurprising. T'was always their way. Give and take, kill and save, an unbalanced scale atop the edge of a blade. The scent of scrolls. Tens of dozens of them, each as inked as it would bear. Centuries of seeking distilled. Tis nonsense, isn't it? Just mad, theater. Agreed. Tis strange. I recall so many trials. An endless parade of the accused. Was it a kind of punishment? Being forced to watch my fellows condemned? The beyond was empty. No gods. No judges. Only his desires mattered, he said. Not else. Could be a fan. Feel Time to rethink this stratagem. Right on top. You better run. Enemies over. We gather in the sight of Wodica and Wal to thresh truth from falsehood and see justice upheld. The matter before this tribunal tonight, identity. I've got one of those. Am I in trouble too? How can she answer? What does it even mean? Of this charge, I bear no guilt. I am not but myself. How could I be other? Whatever do you mean?
gave it to me. I am more, myself, than I have been in a very long time. I... almost... like a word on the tip of the tongue, I have it, but I don't. I am certain, though, that I knew the Inquisitor well. I think perhaps that... I loved her... and that she betrayed me. Perhaps not, but nothing could justify her actions. Ridiculous. We are nothing alike. I will lead you to her. She has much to answer for. The way is open. It pulls me towards... When the wheel has ground you all to dust, only I will remain. Inquisitor! You abandoned your sacred charge. You made a sacrifice of order on the altar of orthodoxy. You've come to end me then? To consign these lands to chaos? Tis a certainty that I have lost. It fled me, I think. Each memory restored, providing it another egress. It seems impossible. In that, at least, we are in accord. Where that is so easily accomplished. What say you, Inquisitor? Is there ought to be salvaged between these two sad souls? I've certainly been responsible for worse decisions. Yes. 
I appreciate your efforts here. I do not fully understand them, but I can appreciate them. To you and me, to us, yes. Were they reflective of historical fact? Of that, I am unsure. I think not. I feel hollow, flat somehow. Perhaps I am now all that remains of me, but tis enough. I certainly owe you a boon. How might I balance the scales? You offer so much of yourself. You've no idea my gratitude. Let us go then. Turn from your interrogation, and with another soul added to your collection. You risk her. Likewise, you risk yourself. Without her assistance, you may never escape the depths. Yet, your choice is made. There's no unchurning the butter. Need a hand? I'm on it. 